Hi, welcome again to another uh, tutorial uh, session where we'll be talking about how to describe uh, this Landsat 7 scan line uh, correction error. And uh, for us to have a little intuition about that, going to this particular website gives us an idea of what the scan line uh, correction of uh, error means. And it says here that the Landsat 7 scan line correction of data refers to all Landsat 7 images collected after May 31st, 2003, when the scan line corrector failed. So these products have data gaps, but are still useful and maintain the same radiometric and geometric corrections as data collected prior to when this particular failure happened. And the good thing is that all those data that are downloaded after this particular time has this uh, gas uh, gap mask files included in every download. So we're going to see what it is and how to correct for this um, problem using QGIS. And first and foremost, what we are going to do is to load the data so that uh, the, the imagery, so that you have an idea of uh, what it is and how it looks like. So let's use um, this particular one is the band one. Let's use band one, for example. If we load this band one, we will notice that we have this um, error here, these lines uh, that are distorting the imagery. So, and I'm um, sorry, this is the gap mask that I loaded. I'm sorry. We see that this um, gap mask is actually a, a binary uh, 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 binary imagery where we have just zeros and one. Zeros represent all these lines and one represent this other place. So we are going to be using this gap mask band to correct for uh, the error. So we have this uh, band one here that we will load. Just click on it and drag it inside here. So let's uh, put this off the gap marks band. So if we zoom in into this image, we'll see that these particular lines are distorting this image, which will make it not so useful when you want to do some analysis in it. So we have to correct that. And how do we do that? We are going to use uh, this particular feature, this raster analysis and fill no data and then we have to make sure that our band is correctly loaded this is band one that is correctly loaded this is the gap mask band this is band one that is loaded and the band number is okay this is all right and the maximum distance in pixel to search out for values to interpolate in my case i've tried out several numbers and 100 seems to work for me you may try several numbers for your own case and see if it will work i just need no iteration for this particular process so zero will work for me i have to check this particular field here do not use the default validity mark for the input band then i will select the gap mask band which is this one and um, see so also you can now come here and decide to uh, uh fill this particular the field uh, uh the band that you are going to that's the output you can now either save to a temporary file or save to file for this particular purpose i'm not uh, i don't want it to be saved anywhere so i just leave it as a default save to temporary file i can always remove it after this must have been run so i click on run it usually takes uh, a few minutes to run i will pause this video while it finishes running and i will get back to you okay so it has finished running and it is loaded so let's close this and see here it has finished running and um, everything is fine. So let's uh, zoom to layer here. We'll see that this particular output does not have that uh, a scan line issue, unlike what we have here. Uh, let's uh, check this off. Uh, the image that we have here that is filled with that uh, correction, and this one does not have that particular correction. But the challenge remains that if you have large data set, or if you want to do, for example, just this uh, particular uh, data, we, we have eight bands. Doing it one by one will actually take a lot of time. So in order for us to do that, we have to batch process this and taking everything all at once and doing them. So in order to do that, we'll just go to back to Rasta to analysis and fill no data. In that case, we have to uh, we have to click on this place, run as batch process. So once we are trying to run, let's remove this first. So we want to run as a batch process. Let's take this off. Let me be sure that we don't have anything. Uh, remove layer. Yes, let's remove everything. So let's go back to raster. 
analysis, few no data, and we want to run as a batch process. So what we're going to do is to click on this autofill area here and say select files. So once you go there, you have to go to where you have your data and we select files. So you can hold on to control while you click on band one, band two, band three, band four, band five, band six, both band six, band seven, and then band eight. So we load all these bands here. So as you can see, let's remove this. So we have uh, all these bands represented here. So we have band one to all these ones here. So let's move this again. So it actually has a very long file name, but we know that we have all these bands uh, represented here. So let's go back. So the band number, remember this band one gray is okay. In this place, we wanted it to be 100, so we can click on 100. All you need to do is just to autofill and fill down. That takes care of others. That's why this actually is okay. We don't need it to interpolate, so zero is okay for us. And do we need this one? Uh, do not use. Yes, we don't want it to use, and we can now fill down this one too. Let's go here. The validity mask, where is it? So we have to go and check where the validity mask is and it is here so in this case i tried selecting once and it's not it's not working well so we'll do that one by one from here so we take on band one and uh, do band two gets to band three i tried loading all of them at once uh, it gave me some error so i'm trying to load them uh one by one here so we have loaded band five band six one Band six two, band six two, I'm correct. Then band seven, then lastly band eight. So I've been able to do this. So the next thing that we're going to do is field. Now, what will be the output here? So we are going to give it a, 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 a we're going to create a folder which we'll call field, and uh, we'll put in all these data sets there. So we are going to create a folder. Let us choose one of these, and I'll tell you what will happen. Uh, no. So we are going to create a folder, which is field, and we'll click on save. Now, once we have done that, it said do not autofill. Like I said, fill with parameter values. And let's use the parameter values of the input layer to do this filling. We'll see that it gave us OK. So, but what is happening here is that it gave us these parameter values uh, with the original band names here. So, and if we don't want that, we have to continuously delete this one by one. But what I usually do is that uh, for us to do this, I will first of all go to this place and click in this field. I will just name it something like anything, maybe a Z, and come here and I will tell it autofill with parameter values. So, what is going to happen is all this particular input band has Z attached to it. But because I don't want those Z attached to it, I can just remove them one after the other so that they will maintain the original band names that I have assigned to the, uh, this uh, particular. So the field, we just have uh, this field with uh, its uh, band name uh, attached. So you can always be assured that in this particular folder that is filled, the original band names are still maintained. So once you have finished doing that, you just click on run. It usually takes time. So I will pause the video while it runs because it's taking it one after the other, but we don't have to repeat the process. It does it uh, at once. So I pause the video. Once it finishes, I will come back. All right. So uh, as we can see, it, it, the whole process has finished. And look at here. It said the whole uh, execution, but it was completed in 445.57 seconds. So, and um, that is okay. So what we are going to do is just to load uh, it. We, know we created a folder and named it fuel. So one good thing about this is it has the same name as the um, original file name. So whatever you are going to do, it will be easy. And this is what uh, we have been able to do. 
and that is just it so this is how to describe uh, 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 this uh, uh, scan line error uh, from your data so anyone you load you can see that it doesn't have that uh, issue anymore so i hope this video has been useful to you and um, i will go ahead in the next video to see how we're going to use the a semi -auto automatic classification plugin to do some dark object subtraction on this particular imagery. Thank you very much.